In this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot your Homebird Helix, Solix, and Core units that aren't sharing waypoints. So my buddy's having issues with his waypoints not sharing, so we're going to troubleshoot his units here on his boat. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark a waypoint right here at our current location, and we're going to see if it shows up on the front. So here we are at the front graph, and as you can see, it doesn't show up. So let's go ahead and start looking at the settings to make sure the waypoint sharing is actually turned on. So we just hit menu twice to go to this menu. You want to scroll over. So as you can see, this one doesn't have a network tab over here. That tells me that something in the network isn't right because it's not picking up the other unit at all. So if your network tab does show up, but it's still not sharing waypoints, you want to make sure that this share waypoints is turned on. So you just toggle that on or off with this arrow over here. So we want to leave that on. So if you want to check if your Solix is sharing waypoints, just hit the home button, then go to nav data, then waypoints and share waypoints should be turned on. If you need to turn it on, just push that button. The next thing you want to do is check that your physical ethernet network is still intact. So this cable right here with this connection is your ethernet cable. So if you only have two units, you have one cable or one dongle that runs from your unit and connects here to the main cable. Then that main cable will run up to your front graph and connect to the dongle that will connect to your front unit. So on this cable, you basically just want to take these connections apart, make sure they're clean, there's nothing weird going on with them, no bent pins. And then you just want to follow this main cable going through your boat, make sure it's not pinched or, you know, got this damaged somehow, because that's a possible issue. Then you also want to go and check, so this cable comes out to this connection right here, and you want to make sure these pins are straight and that there's no major corrosion or anything going on there. As you can see here from my buddy's boat, this is what ended up being the problem. One of these pins got bent over when he tried to put it in his depth finder. If you have more than two graphs on your boat, then you have one of these ethernet boxes in your network. So you just wanna make sure that these connections going to this ethernet box are good. No damaged wires once again, make sure no corrosion on any of the pins. And you also wanna make sure that this box is getting good power so you can just take a multimeter and make sure it's getting the 12 volts it needs. Once you start getting a more complicated network, you also wanna double check that all your cables are running to the correct location. Another buddy had an issue earlier this spring where his boat, ever since new, the waypoints wouldn't share between his front and his back graph. And he couldn't figure out why. He brought it over and we were looking at it. And eventually what we figured out was that when it was ran either from the factory or at the shop where the units were installed, they didn't run the cables properly. Basically his Ultrex, a front unit and the back unit were on the network and the cable just ran directly from his Ultrex to his front unit and the cable did a, a U and in the back, the cable was not connected to the front units at all. So that was why it didn't work. Once we plugged everything in correctly, it worked perfect. So just something else to check for. At this point, if you still haven't found the issue, another thing you can try is to restore defaults. So just hit menu twice, go to the setup tab, and then go down to restore defaults here. Just click the arrow key over. So if you restore defaults and it still doesn't work, the next step to try would be updating your software. And there's plenty of videos online about how to update your software on these Humminbird units, so I'm not going to walk through that. So if at this point you still haven't found the issue, the last thing you can try is taking your graphs off your boat and put them on a buddy's boat that also has Humminbirds and see if they connect on his boat. If they do, then you know it's not an issue with either of your graphs, you know it's an issue with your network, and you can start going through and figuring out you know, which cable. You can pin them out to see if there's a bad connection in one of your cables or whatever else. Or you can just try swapping out the cables one by one until you find the issue. And same thing with your graphs. If they, you put them on a buddy's boat whose graphs you know link, and your graphs don't link, then you know it's an issue with one of your graphs. So maybe you can leave one of them on and put one of your buddy's graphs in its place and determine which graph is bad. It might have an internal issue or whatever else. So hopefully this helps you troubleshoot your issues. And if it did, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you all.